at Indianapolis Raceway Park in the 30th annual running of the U.S. Nationals. I'm Dave McClelland, along with Steve Evans, and all eyes are on the starting line as we're set for the semi-final round of Top Fuel Eliminator. Here is Big Daddy Don Garland. He is at the U.S. Nationals for the first time in five years. It was 20 years ago that Big Daddy won his first ever U.S. Nationals title back in 1964. He's racing against Larry Miner, a relative newcomer to top fuel racing. Earlier, Steve talked with him. How does it feel for you, and only your second year of driving, to be going up against the legend, Big Daddy Don Garlick? Well, really, you know, it doesn't bother me, because uh, I'm relaxed out here, and I'm just doing my own thing and having fun, and so there's no pressure on me, and I think that's why I can really do a pretty decent job of driving. Miner, the car owner of that all-star racing team with three cars in competition, he's the only one left. And Garlitz is pulling ahead at the finish line and puts out Larry Miner. It's Don Garlitz into the finals of the U.S. Nationals. And Larry Miner having problems with his parachute, but he seems to be bringing the car to a safe stop. For Don Garlitz, a great run in the semifinals. 5.56 second elapsed time. His speed over 254 miles an hour. As we look again, Garlitz had pulled ahead by the middle of the racetrack. He continued to hold that lead until the finish line, and by one car length, Don Garlitz advances to the finals, defeating Larry Miner. Garlitz very composed as he comes out of the car, taking off his helmet and shaking over his engine. Well, after a five-year absence, Big Daddy goes into the final with a 5.56, and a good race it was. Yes, it was. It was a real good race. I, he actually was right out there to about the eighth mile, and it just kind of pulled away. I guess I had a little higher top speed. And the engine looks just fine, dry, not a drop of oil out of it. Yeah, I had one little problem. A throttle cable was breaking up there, and we just barely got it fixed. Well, the shoot worked this time. Everything worked this time. Yeah, I'm, I'm real happy, really. Let's go back to the starting line and see just who Don Garlitz is going to race in that final round, Gene Snow or Connie Coletta. Steve will know that in just a moment. The only newcomer in the sport is now out of competition in Top Fuel. It's all veterans. Connie Coletta in the near lane. A former funny car racer moving into the crew chief role for Shirley Muldowney when she won her first world championship, then back into driving and driving better than ever. For Gene Snow, a former funny car racer, over 20 years experience in the sport, Snow now campaigning his top fuel dragster out of his home base in Fort Worth, Texas. Snow up in smoke and Coletta beginning to extend the lead. Can he hold on to it at the finish line? A close race and the wing comes off of Snow's car. Snow with the parachute out, keeps the car under control as it bounces to a safe stop but the win goes to Connie Coletta and two veterans in the final Don Garlitz against Connie Coletta let's watch and see just what happened very close racing at the first speed light and right at the finish line Coletta pulls ahead from the rear angle you can see snow in the far lane in the near lane is Coletta Coletta takes the wind but the wing just collapses on Gene Snow's car momentarily he starts to lose control, the parachute out instantly, pulling the car back to straight down the racetrack and Snow bringing it to a safe stop. Snow running 250 miles an hour on this run, did a great driving job keeping the car under control. When that wing unloads its speeds like 250 miles an hour, it can cause severe handling problems. You see the damaged struts and there's no wing at all. For Gene Snow, very, very disappointed as he had a great race going with Connie Coletta until the mechanical problems set in with the wing. 